Hey, what is up guys? Hope you guys had a uh, great 4th of July weekend. I'm out here checking out some of the brand new homes that they're putting up. Uh, the last remaining homes in Festival Foothills. So I thought I'd come over here and take a look at the, uh, the post-tension foundation that if you do buy a home uh, in the south or even um, you know for Pulte Home, there's a really good chance that you're going to get a, a post-tension foundation uh, in the southern part of the United States. I did uh, ride the trusty scooter out here. So I'm going to flip you guys around so I can show you what the post-tension foundation looks like. So this is what a post-tension foundation looks like. It's a slab-on grade. As you can see, there is a little bit of rebar that they actually put inside here. And then there's these uh, tubes that are going to run along the entire uh, length of the, the home, the actual foundation itself. And then these uh, bars right here that you see, uh, after they pour the foundation and the concrete hardens, they'll actually come by with the machine. They'll actually put the uh, machine around that post and they'll actually pull the actual wire. Uh, and they do that after the concrete has actually hardened. And one of the things that that's really good for is typically uh, as the home settles, uh, a lot of concrete will actually start to crack. And then you get these big giant cracks in your foundation, which obviously is never a good thing. The nice thing with these is that that's actually minimized because uh, basically it's under heavy, heavy uh, tension from those post-tensioned um, wires in the middle of your foundation. The downside to that is that if you do try to do a remodel, you can't actually just start cutting into your foundation. You actually have to get an engineer to figure out how to actually uh, tear about tear about tear apart your foundation so that you can do a remodel let's say you want to move the bathroom from one side of your house to the other that's going to be pretty hard um, often so you can see uh, the other parts of the foundation so this is uh it's pretty cool it's it's pretty fast to actually do this the nice thing about the south is um you don't have basements i mean i grew up in the midwest you have foundations or excuse me you have basements to me, it just always seemed like basements were uh, nothing but problems, you, especially uh, if you get cracks in your basements. Uh, you can usually have flooding issues. You have mold issues down there if there's too much condensation and uh, it's not airing out the right way. Uh, with the post-tension foundation, your issues are usually pretty minimized. Uh, one of the things long-term that I did see with these post-tension foundations is once they actually do pour the concrete, over time, if you don't put gutters, a lot of the rain, because they don't put gutters here in Arizona, the rain can actually start to, um, the moisture will actually start to wick up your foundation. And it'll find its way into this rebar. And it'll actually start to uh, rust out that rebar. And the issue with that is that this line on the inside could actually snap because they do put a lock. When I was talking to our field manager, he was saying that they've actually improved that. Um, but, oh, this is funny. I, I just now noticed that this is actually the uh, spigot that goes on the side of the house. So, I'm going to take a quick video because I was actually kind of curious as to what that looks like in my foundation. That's pretty cool. Alright, so I'll take you guys over to... Uh, foundation that's actually poured. I don't think they've actually came out and stretched the, the wires yet. Um, and I forget how many pounds is in there. Please correct me if I'm wrong if you guys know a little bit more about post tension than I do. But as far as I understand, I think it's like 18,000 pounds of pressure that it's under. So I'm going to try to ride you guys down there with uh, one hand. Let's see how this goes. Maybe I'll, <laughs> maybe you'll catch me. All right, here we go. I'll keep you guys on here. See if I can hold you steady. All right, it's working. So these are all the brand new homes that are going up. This entire uh, street hasn't uh, been built out yet. It's almost there. These guys got the day off, which they uh, obviously deserve it, working out in this heat. All right, cool. I didn't fall over. That's always a plus. So this is what the foundation looks like after it's been poured
but as you can see these wires are still sticking out and uh, again what they'll do is they'll come by with the machine they'll attach the machine to this and uh, they'll turn it on and they'll pull those wires out and get yourself a post tension foundation it's pretty sweet how all this stuff uh, goes together where's the garage at oh so the garage would be over here as you can see they've already cut their uh, relief cuts in there and then right here they actually put a warning that it's a post tension slab do not drill or core because if you hit one of those lines and they snap yeah it can be a problem for you so yeah just want to give you guys a little bit of information about that um, oh actually I'll go and show you what I was talking about so right over here, when they uh, when they finish their house and they do all your landscaping, they're actually going to bring the dirt up to you know pretty high, and then it's going to slope away from your home. Obviously, they do that because if it does rain, they want the moisture to go away from your foundation. Um, so that's something to be aware of, especially if you have landscaping come out. Obviously, they're going to know that um, termites. Uh, termites are big in Arizona. They're big in the desert in general. They have already pre-treated the foundation uh, before it was poured. They're going to come out again and treat it. Uh, so what they'll do is they'll pull away that dirt. They're going to treat it. They're going to push the dirt back up. They're going to give you a nice base. And then uh, for us, they actually came out again and treated our foundation one last time. And then I, I believe you get a five-year warranty. The company that actually does this, they're called Young Brothers here in Arizona. Um, so yeah, one thing is you don't want to disturb uh, that foundation that they're going to build up for you because otherwise you're going to void your warranty. And uh, if you do disturb it, like let's say you come out and have some work done, like for example, I had a mini split installed. They did run some lines. So I have to give them, I have to give them a call so they can come back out and retreat that area uh, because you don't want to disturb the um, you know the perimeter that they create with their with their pesticide and uh, I will also be putting on gutters eventually we don't obviously don't get too much rain here but when we do I do not want that water sitting next to my foundation and riding out those lines I don't want to have any issues with foundations uh, whatsoever because once you do it's pretty expensive to fix and if you can uh, prevent it with uh, a few minutes out of your day and proper planning, I mean, I would rather do that than pay a few thousand bucks for somebody to come out and fix my foundation issues. Uh, anyways, I hope you guys, uh, if you are looking to buy in Arizona, uh, it, so far we're loving it. Right now it is pretty hot. I want to say it's probably still about 100 degrees. It's almost 7 o'clock at night. But... Uh, I'm loving it so far.